What's going on, everybody here in Rolling Hills, California for the second annual Chargers Golf Tournament. I'm Nick Hamilton, and definitely got a chance to talk to a lot of people that participated for a great cause for Children's Hospital, as well as the Chargers brand is out here in full force. LA, they ready, they coming at you, and we're definitely gonna come at you with some great interviews. Make sure you stay tuned. Uh, right now it's a little not great because he cries too much, <laughs> but uh, it's gonna be good. Uh, you're just having the jeans. Um, keep going, you know, another sign. Um, what yes. do you look like right now? Corner, safety, receiver, what do you oh, think? Oh man, we, we gonna stay away from the football side of it. If I if I got anything to do with it, <laughs> we trying to get to the big money. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so you, you, you tweeted something interesting. You said, I'm back in my Bible, I'm looking at Psalm 25. What was so significant about that scripture, about that? That, um, that, was, that was the scripture that uh, kept me in football. I would say, you guys remember I was gonna quit. Um, you know, my mama sent me that, sent me that scripture. And, um, you know, it's, it's special to me. Uh, it means a lot. I think it has a lot to do with life and, um, you know, just letting you know that you're not by yourself in this thing. So. What's this offseason been like for you? Last year you guys got close. Divisional game against the Patriots. Uh, you guys lose. What's that hunger been building like in the locker room? Uh, we real hungry. Um, just knowing where we can go. Um, we didn't really lose a lot of guys. And, um, you know, just, just being able to stay consistent and be, be ready to um, pick up where we left off. You guys had an interesting offseason. I mean, you guys, we saw you at the Clipper game, got a chance to you know, see Bone Thugs and Harmony, legendary group. Then we saw you in you know Houston for the Golden State Warriors game. you huge KD fan, I yeah. take it. What did you learn and, and get from watching guys like Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, James Harden, and those guys? Um, just taking what's thrown at you. Um, you know, KD's been through a lot, just as far as the media, you know, giving him things about joining the best team. But uh, either way it goes, you got to go out there and perform against everybody and um, they played the Clippers and almost went to game seven so uh, that, that say, speaks a lot and then they come back to Portland without KD and they sweep them so um, you know it's, it's, it just goes it goes a long way and um, it shows you anything can be done. You have some music you just dropped what made you want to release it now I know you've been working on it for a good amount of time what made you want to release it to the world now? Um, I think the world needs it um, the world needs some more R&B and they like uh, it's too much of the mumble rap and the, and the, and the, the nine I like good music, I would say. Uh, so just, just bringing all the instruments back, uh, having a good talent, good voice, you know, behind it. Are we gonna get it? Well, I mean, it's motivation for this year. It's motivation for our guys in the off season going through what they're gonna go through, the grind that they got to put in from day in and day out. You know, losing like that kind of motivates you to put that work in. But once the season kick off, you know, all that goes out the window when it's time to play football. How important is it? How important is it to be entrenched in the community, especially uh, the Chargers resurfacing to LA, and you guys are doing such great work in the various communities. Well, we want to be visible in the community. You know, we don't want to be an organization that people see on television and the evening news and the morning news and have stories about, but but the people never see us out in the community. Um, you know, we want to be transparent and and doing what we talk about, right? And so this is very important for all of us, our whole organization, to kind of set the path of how we want to be. How important is it being able to engage the fan base as far as the growth of the fan base? With you guys going on an incredible run in the playoffs. Yeah. Well, you know, like I, I know that, you know, if the fans have a relationship with you, if they feel like they know you, then they're going to support you through thick and thin. And they're going to be there when, when you really need them. And even when, you know, things are going well, they're still going to be there. They're going to even cheer a little bit louder because you have made yourself visible to them. They have been able to see you in the community doing good work. They've been able to touch you on the shoulder, shake your hand, things like that. Different experience for sure, but we're really excited about going to Mexico. We have a tremendous Hispanic following, and uh, we're, I, we got a lot of friends that are, we're going down there with, so we're really looking forward to the, the trip to Mexico City. London was a great experience. It was an exciting game, which you know, I uh, came down in the last play of the game. But uh, anyway, so uh, these international games are important for the league, and uh, we're real happy to be a part of it. How big is it for the brand going to various places, like you said, London, Mexico City? How big is it for the brand, the Charger brand? Well, it's important from this perspective. Los Angeles is a, is, is one of the great cities of the world, you know, and you got to look at yourself, hopefully, at some time to be an international you know, sports franchise. And it's a great opportunity for get our brand out in these different communities around the world. Uh, you know, still our focus, obviously, is here in Los Angeles, but uh, there's people from all over the world coming here. So I want them to know a little bit about what we're all about. I hear you, Bob.